Yeah, the death zone is, is simply that, that level in the atmosphere, that altitude, um, which will kill you if you stay up there too long. So we can acclimatize to reasonable altitudes, but the 8,000 metre peaks is an altitude to which we can never fully acclimatize. So all we can do is acclimatize to the point where we can briefly visit those higher altitudes. And pretty much anything above 5,000 metres will kill you if you stay there too long. But the rate of deterioration is exponential as you go higher. And, and so at 8,000 metres, just a few days at 8,000 metres with oxygen is your limit. Without oxygen, it's a matter of hours. Essentially, what it feels like, you feel, of course you can't breathe, you, you feel like you're not getting a full lung of, of air and, and, and everything is so difficult to do. I'm on the summit of Makalu. 8,470 metres. It's one bloody tough climb, I can tell you. It goes on forever. But I really, I really wanted this summit. I'm so happy. Everything's t four times harder. It takes half an hour to put on a boot. It takes hours to melt snow to make a cup of tea. You have pounding headaches. You're nauseous all the time. You have no appetite, but if you do eat something, as you know you need to, you're most likely just going to throw it straight back up again. You have, um, you're puffing and panting, even in your sleep you're puffing and panting and you're dehydrating uh, because of, of that very heavy panting in the cold dry air. So that compounds the headaches, you get these dehydration headaches. You, you, you can get uh, retinal hemorrhage because of the low pressure, your blood vessels in your eyes burst and become blinded by it and, and it, it's just this plethora of a really nasty physical experience and if the altitude actually then starts to affect you because to this point you're relatively unaffected this is just the normal side of it if it starts to affect you nastily then you get double vision you lose your depth of field you, you fall over you, you the blackness um, you get a real tunnel vision up there and and, and and that's when you're starting to die from the altitude when you try to move just a couple of steps Two steps is enough to completely bring you to your knees, heaving for breath. It's, it's so exhausting. Now, if you use oxygen, it's a little bit less uh, uh, than that, but um, a little nicer than that. But uh, without oxygen, which is my preferred way of climbing, that's pretty much what it, what it is. And so it, it is all about this, this self-motivation to keep going in this such an unpleasant atmosphere and, and, and where everything is, is hurting and you are sick and you feel like you're dying because you are actually dying. Um, it, it's just a brutal place to be and you can never get warm either because there's not enough oxygen to burn to generate body heat even though you're wearing all this clothing. You can be dressed up like a Michelin man but, you, but you're still freezing cold, bone penetrating cold. It's 